Melodically, the problem in modulation comes from how the new accidentals are introduced. Here's an example. Here the new key arrives in the second beat of measure 2. It's quite abrupt, first because the new note, F-sharp, arrives by a tritone leap in the soprano, which up to that point has been very conjunct. Also, the chord just before the new key contains a doubled F, and that is the note about to change. These two big changes combine to make this modulation sound like an awkward bump. Here's a different version of the same modulation. Here the F-sharp arrives conjunctly as the resolution of a suspension, G in the top part. The suspension draws attention to the fact that something significant is about to happen, and when it does happen, it's smoothly approached and left. In addition, neither of the two chords preceding the F-sharp contains the conflicting F. The result is much smoother. It is possible for the F-sharp to follow the F-natural in the next chord, provided they're in the same voice. This modulation is a bit more intense than the preceding one, but the smooth voice leading makes it seem logical. Note also that neither the F-natural or the F-sharp are doubled. For a smooth transition, the best way to introduce the new accidentals is with the most conjunct voice leading possible, one at a time. Avoid changing several accidentals at the same time within one chord. Again, let's compare two examples, now modulating from G major to B minor. So this is a modulation to a minor key, there are two accidentals here that must change. C must go to C sharp, and A must go to A sharp as the new leading tone. Here, the second chord of measure 2 introduces both the A sharp and the C sharp at the same time. The effect is rather sudden, despite the relatively smooth voice leading. In this second version of the same modulation, only one accidental changes at a time, so the new key arrives progressively rather than abruptly. The fact that there are three common tones between the chord at the end of measure 1 and the chord at the start of measure 2 makes the change even smoother. Note that the first abrupt version is not necessarily bad, it's just more striking, given the overall conjunct diatonic context. It breaks the established pattern in a more striking way. If more emphasis was needed at that point in the piece, it could be appropriate for its context. Thank you.